Hello, my name is Lucas, and this is a bit of it. It's time for Poetry Thursday once again. Not a very hectic work schedule lately, uh, but I thought Chinese New Year is coming and I'll have a little bit more time to relax. So let's pick a Chinese poem. Uh, we're going to read Li Po's poetry. Next week we will do Tu Fu's. I don't have the tones right, I think. Please forgive me. Let me know how you say them. I've also seen uh, Tu Fu's name uh, romanized as Du Fu. So, uh, yeah. But we can talk more about that later. We've got a very nice cover. This is a poem from Li Po when he was very young. Um, on visiting a Taoist master in the Taitian Mountains and not finding him. Where the dogs bark by roaming waters, whose spray darkens the petals' colors, deep in the woods deer at times are seen. The valley noon, one can hear no bell, but wild bamboos cut across bright clouds, flying cascades hang from jasper peaks. No one here knows which way you have gone. Two, now three pines I have lent against. Uh, whoa. <laughs> so it seems like, um, yeah, he's looking for a, a Taoist master, some kind of hermit, uh, who's out and can't be found, which, uh, as it says here in the explanation, is a common theme in Chinese poetry. Uh, it also says that he probably wrote this between 17 to 19 years old, so very young man. Uh, and that in a sense that uh, this poem is kind of a spiritual journey um, because he came to see the master, uh, the Taoist master, uh, to learn from him. Uh, but the master taught by not telling. Uh, he taught by his absence for this uh, speaker to uh, observe what's around him and notice everything uh, and the relationship with each other, uh, which is what this says basically on the next page. Uh, and I think that's really cool. Uh, but yeah, you can see that actually very well uh, by the absence of the Taoist poet, but also where the dogs bark by roaring waters. Okay, we've got two connections there whose spray darkens the petals' colors. Another connection, uh, deep in the woods. Okay, this is still, you know, uh, everything's coming together. Deer at times are seen. So we've got this huge relationship. We've got a really clear, strong, stark image of um, these woods where this Thomas Master lives. It's very, very beautiful, in a way. Uh, the valley noon, one can hear no bell, but wild bamboos cut across bright clouds. Again, more noticing of uh, nature, flying cascades hang from jasper peaks. No one here knows which way you have gone. Two, now three pines I have lent against. Anyway, uh, I thought that was a really cool poem, and I just thought I would tell you more about what it says here. Uh, we've got a little poem here by Chia Tao from the uh, eighth to ninth century, uh, very similar thematically. Under a pine, I asked his pupil, who said, Master's gone, gathering balm, only somewhere about the mountain, the clouds so thick that I don't know where. Thank you.